Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney and Fragrance. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly Bath & Body Works content with a sprinkle of Disney and whatever else I put up on this channel. Who knows these days? But if any of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I know we're a little ways from 3K, like a long ways away from 3,000 subscribers. But as soon as I hit 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a Bath & Body Works giveaway for you guys i appreciate the support so so much so if you're stumbled upon this channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button it's free and you could hit that for me and that would mean the absolute world to me you guys are amazing and i appreciate each and every one of your guys' support but in today's video we have my mega empties like this bin is Oh, I have not like done my um, spreadsheet, my empty spreadsheet. So I don't know how many products I used up Bath & Body Works wise, but that will be at the end of the video as always. I will also be posting my summer project use it up finale, showing you the progress I made. Because if you guys are new to my channel, I never finish up all my projects in all my products in a project use it up. My goal for project use it up is just to make progress if I'm being honest empties are a bonus but progress is great for me because it's super hard for me to use up products when I'm using like a big variety of scents and also stay tuned for my fall project use it up I'm so excited I already picked out like my items that I'm gonna use this fall and I'm super super excited but for today's video we have my empties um as usual I save my Bath and Body Works goodies for the end I don't have too many like random um goodies that are not Bath and Body Works related, but I still like to show you guys in case you're interested. Look, we've got Tree Hut, Yankee Candle, and makeup, and just other random skincare goodies. So the first thing, I don't think I would repurchase, but this is actually a gift, but I don't think I'd go out of my way to repurchase this. These are cleansing wipes. I finished these up. My mom got me these for Easter. They're from the crime shop. Uh, honestly, I didn't like these. These were too dry, and you're supposed to be able to wipe off your makeup, but I felt like I was just like wiping a dry wipe on my face uh not a fan and i have switched to using my cellar water so probably won't use makeup wipes anymore so i'm gonna give this a thumbs down i try to give you guys my thoughts on each product and whether or not i'd repurchase them but sometimes i forget because i have so much stuff i used up two different lighters um this is a random one honestly probably from dollar tree and this is a bic lighter these were supposed to be good for candles but now my problem is we got this big candle. I got to go all the way down in here, put my hand halfway through the candle to actually light it. That's why I like these stick lighters. Like, I think these are like campfire lighters. I like these better because I don't have to stick my hand down in the candle. But I guess that's up to each one's preference. But I prefer this lighter over this. So I will not repurchase these little mini big lighters. I love these like long campfire lighters. So good on these. Pass on those. Um, I finished up a Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. This was just like a one-time use conditioner. Um, you're not going to see like results with the sample, but I have finished up a full size of this. I had was gifted this by Influencer in the full size, and I really, really enjoyed it. Redken is very expensive, and I don't want to invest in that right now but this was pretty good it made my my um hair not my skin my hair feel um super super like moisturized yeah um my hair is pretty dead sorry about my hair i have my hair in braids but when you have short hair it the braids don't work out so well um but yeah i thought this was pretty great but i'm not going to repurchase it just because it's a little bougie and expensive for me but it's super super great if you're looking for something to make your hair not feel super super dry moving on we have a random face mask from the brand glam up and this is the firming pomegranate this is so old this is probably like four years old um I don't think it did anything but it was nice to give myself some self-care and let's pretend that this did something so I won't repurchase this I have so many face masks that I'm trying to get through and I'm so bad about using them but glad I finished this up would not repurchase it though the next thing I have is a country girls pretty pearls 
blue raspberry slushy lip scrub this was great just a lip scrub it just smelled like like blue raspberry like the scent is so it's just like blueberry um i don't think i would repurchase it again because i don't think this company it makes them anymore it's like a small shop but i'm not going to repurchase this i do like lip scrubs though i'm currently using one from bath and body works that a lovely subscriber michaela sent me which was so sweet thank you michaela and i'm loving that it's like a coconut colada one or a pina colada one is so delicious but this brand probably wouldn't repurchase again i used up a tiny little nyx face freezy sample this was a primer it has niacinamide and snow mushroom and it was a cooling primer super weird it was a nice silicone texture i know not a lot of people like silicone um based primers i don't mind them at all but it did have a weird cooling effect and it was kind of weird to me um i don't know if i'm gonna purchase this because i have a few primers that i want to use up but maybe i'll give it a try i know nyx is kind of expensive now like i liked that marshmallow primer that they had but it was like what 14 or 15 dollars and that's just a little too much for me but yeah i might repurchase the full size so we'll say maybe on that the next thing i'm not going to repurchase for the time being are the ollie sleep gummies now this doesn't have a price on it but this is 90 sleep gummies and you take two every night or at least i do i know it's super bad to use melatonin that is the only way i can fall asleep i have an easier time falling asleep on the weekends like naturally without using um melatonin but during the week i need melatonin otherwise i will not be able to fall asleep but this is 90 gummies you take two so this is a 45 day supply and they retail for about 19 bucks i think um i'll double check and correct myself on the screen if i'm wrong but the Bath and Body Works gummies, the sleep ones, have been working out great. And I've been able to get them at the outlet for like $4. And that is a 30-day supply. So I'd rather pay $4 for 30 days than $19 for 45 days. But these work really well. Actually, the Bath and Body Works gummies have more melatonin in them than these ones do. These aren't bad. These are great. But just for the time being, I'm going to not repurchase these. The next thing I used up is the Skin Skintimate Coconut Delight. Also, I turned off cinematic mode, which is the mode that kind of like blurs my background and auto focuses because it's been driving me nuts. So let me know if you guys prefer this, which this should be in 4K, or if you guys like the cinematic mode. Please let me know in the comments down below because I don't notice that much of a difference, but you guys let me know what you prefer. Anyways, this is the moisturizing shave gel from Skin to This is relatively cheap, pretty, pretty affordable, and I love it. I'll always repurchase that. That's the only shave cream I use. Um, let's see here. We have a e.l.f. Super Mask, a mask with smoothing centella a sciatic cub <laughs> i'm sorry i know i butchered that but this is what it looks like um i got this at in a kit i think from like tj maxx or ross or something like that it was fine it was just like a white like rinse off mask so i liked using it in the bath did it do anything probably not but it was nice to use up and give myself some self-care we have two loose powders these both had like maybe one powder or two powders of my face worth of products left in it so i finally decided to use them up so i could toss them we have the maybelline fit me powder and this is in the shade 05 fair and this is just a loose finishing powder i really liked this and i'll probably repurchase it again when i need another powder um i have like 10 powders setting powders right now so i definitely don't need to buy one now but when the time comes i'll probably repurchase this because this is relatively affordable the next thing we have is the beauty bakery flower better not bitter oat translucent powder i got this in like a little gift set for christmas like four years ago i swear um it was fine nothing to write home about um it's just your translucent powder but i will say it like oxidized a little bit like it doesn't dry like down on your, it doesn't like mix into your foundation clear like it adds just a little bit of color so like when I'm looking for a translucent powder I want it to be like white um this is fine it's pretty expensive so I probably wouldn't repurchase it again but it's fine not my favorite the next thing I would definitely repurchase are tree hut scrubs these are my absolute favorite scrubs other than the onyx bathhouse ones and the bath and body works ones but this was just in the scent pineapple and this said it helps tones and hydrate the skin did it probably not but the um tree hut scrubs are super coarse super scrubby 
this pineapple like this literally it smells like like a pineapple slushy or like a pineapple candy super fresh super fruity this really helped me get into the summer mood and this was amazing and i would repurchase it a thousand times again the next candle i would definitely repurchase is a yankee candle pink sands candle boy was it dirty but the scent payoff for this two wick candle was insane my mom actually found this for a dollar at walmart on hidden clearance and it was amazing um this was my progress lines on it so in the past month i used it up from there to empty i wait till my wicks physically don't light anymore um but if you guys can see i put my hand or like a napkin through this to like wipe so you can see just how dirty and sooty this candle was it was absolutely insane but it smelled so good i will take the like sooty dirtiness of this candle because this was a high high thrower in my bedroom 100% recommend Pink Sands from Yankee Candle. I happen to have one more of those and I'm so happy I do. Thank you for sticking along for 11 minutes of me talking about my random products. This is going to be a very, a very long empties video, but I know a few of you guys have said that you like my longer videos. So here you go for those who like my longer videos. All of my random empties products are in here. I don't usually count those products because I don't keep track of what I use other than showing you guys in a video. Now, moving on to the main feature of this video, we have my Bath and Body Works empties. Whew, I did a really good job this month. A really good job this month. Also, my parents did a good job. As a family, we used up five hand soaps. Two were used up in my bathroom and three were used, well, two was used up in my mom and dad's bathroom and then one was used in the main bathroom downstairs. So five hand soaps, absolutely crazy. We'll start off with the ones my parents used because I didn't use these. So we have a sunshine and lemons with a broken top from a different soap. Um, my mom just switched out the um, nozzle because it was broken, but this is yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. Just a super, super good fruity scent. I think this is a very great giftable scent and I would 100% purchase this scent and I actually do have this one in my collection that I haven't used up yet. So we have Sunshine and Lemons. The next soap, Throwback. This is Aquamarine Shores. In our family's um, bathroom downstairs, we have a sink obviously and underneath the sink there's a bunch of old soap scents like some of like the old christmas ones that are in like the weird packaging like that weird like kind of like rounded shaped packaging so random i didn't know they had this but i went and used the bathroom downstairs i'm like where, where did this soap come from i didn't give it to you guys and my mom's like i found it under the sink and i'm like i didn't know we had these but these are from 2019 so before i started collecting this is sea spray fresh spearmint and freesia the one reason i don't like this gentle or deep cleansing hand soap formula is because it leaks out the top and it drips all over the place and makes a mess i hate it but this is aqua marine shores this is a manly manulin masculine scent not the scent for me but it was good in the bathroom so but i wouldn't repurchase it again and i don't think you can repurchase that again next we have my tried and true sea salt and lime my all-time favorite soap scent my parents use this up downstairs and this is chilled lime fresh eucalyptus and sea salt actually they use this up in um their bathroom my mistake uh this smells so good so good if i could only use one soap scent for the rest of my life it would be sea salt and lime 100 percent thumbs up would repurchase again Moving on to the two soaps that I used up, I used up the Wild Lavender and Mint. Mm -mm, this one's not for me. It really isn't. This is Wild Lavender, Mint Leaves, and Sea Spray. It's just too, hmm, too like spa-like for me. I like using fun hand soaps, and this just wasn't fun for me. Don't get me wrong. It smells good. If it's 75% off, I'd grab it, but... This wouldn't be my go-to scent. I really like the packaging, but I will say I don't get much of that lavender or the, sorry, not the lavender, the mint leaves. I get a ton of the lavender and that like salty sea spray note, but not a ton of the mint leaves. So I'll pass on this one. And then one I would love to repurchase if they brought it back. Rainbow cereal. This is a fruity cereal crunch and a splash of milk. This one smells just like fruity pebbles. It's so good. So, so good. 
and you get that actual like cereal note it smells like a like a rainbow like rice crispy treat like a fruity pebble rice crispy treat would 100 percent repurchase this again big thumbs up from me so those were all of the hand soaps i used up yes five so proud of us okay a random product i used up was a thousand wishes little bath busy i did take a video and put it up as a short on my channel if you're interested in seeing what this looks like this was 9.95 you guys know i did not pay 9.95 meh the bath fizzies are meh to me i will say the new vampire blood one bath and body works posted it on their youtube and their instagram it's black and it actually turns your water a color so they might be starting to get the price might start to be worth it since they're actually doing something because these ones just make the scent i will say the scent is pretty strong for a bath fizzy though um, I'd repurchase for 75% off and 75% off only. The next thing I used up is an at the beach cleansing bar. This was great. These take me about two and a half months to use up. I don't have a problem with the cleansing bars being drying, but I also don't have dry or sensitive skin. And I know a few people have had issues with these drying out their skin. So they're not for everyone. For me, they're great and I will continue to repurchase. And the scent payoff is super strong on this one. So I'd repurchase at the beach again. I finished up a hand cream and a Fiji White Sands. I did not cut this open because I had squeezed the heck out of this. There's no way there's product inside of it, but I don't even know how to describe this. It smells so good. There's nothing left in here, so I can't really smell it, but I did just use this up and I pretty much used up the whole thing this month and I'm so bad about using my hand creams. I don't use them as like traditional hand creams. I use them as body creams because I would never use this up if I used this as a hand cream, but this was back when they were $4. I wish they were still $4, but they're not, unfortunately. I'm trying not to buy any hand creams, so I would not repurchase a hand cream again, but I would love to see Fiji White Sands make a comeback one day. I used up a mini body care set. I didn't use up very much body care this month, but that's okay. I used up watermelon mojito and I'm very sad. I only got it in minis, but that's okay. Bath and Body Works always comes out with watermelon scents, but this one took me two months to use. Um, my lines have disappeared, but it went from... Actually, did this take two months or did I... Um, actually, you know what? Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, I guess it did take two months, I think. Yeah, two months, that makes sense. So I used up from full till right here. It's kind of hard to see because the Sharpie rubbed off to all the way empty. So I pretty much used the whole thing this month. This was super, super good. It wasn't like, I'm trying to get one last spray. It wasn't overly sweet. And that's what I liked about these. A lot of the Bath & Body Works watermelon scents are super, super sweet and like artificial smelling in my opinion. But this one wasn't at all. And then I took basically two months to finish up the mini body cream. Cut open your products if you want to get a couple more uses out of them. I'm so happy I was able to get these in the minis at least because it smelled super good. But I'm super sad to see it go, unfortunately. Um, the rest are candles, home fragrance, or shower gels. So, I will show you the one product my boyfriend used up. He used up Midnight in the shower gel. This is black pepper, cedar leaf, and amber musk. I don't think this one comes out anymore, but this is really good. This is really, really good. I love that mix of the black pepper and the amber musk unbelievable i would love to see this back i don't think it comes back out but this was from 2019 so he was happy to use that up and i think he enjoyed it um i don't think he's really particular about his scent there aren't many scents where he's like oh my god i hate it or oh my god i love it so he kind of just uses whatever i buy for him um the next thing i used up was the bora bora citrus syrup shower gel this took me two months to use this up one thing about me i will use up a shower gel i'm so good about using up my shower gels i'm not afraid to use a little too much shower gel sometimes we get these shower gels for so inexpensive and my collection is so large so i don't have a problem with using a little bit too much but this was really good this was just a good citrus scent like a good lemon scent it kind of smells like hmm what is that one scent sunwashed citrus a little bit a little bit a little bit of a sunwashed citrus vibe but less fruity a little less fruity than Sunwash Citrus. But I would love to see Bora Bora Citrus Surf make a comeback. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree with me because this seemed like a favorite when this came out in 2020. So 
we have that one mini then I used up a watermelon lemonade. This was watermelon ice, sparkling water, and sugared lemon. So this is what I'm talking about. This is more of your artificial candy watermelon, where watermelon mojito didn't smell like an artificial candy. I don't mind it, but I'm sick of it. Oh, I'm sick of this scent. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy I used it up because I am happy to see it go. So this took me pretty much a month. And then this was the second month. So I used this much up in July, but it was pretty much empty. I have two shower gels in my shower right now that are almost empty that I'm going to keep in until I um, empty them and before I start my fall project, use it up. So I still have those in there if I showed those and they're not going to be in my like actual project use it up update for summer because they're still in my shower they're so close to being done like so so close but there was watermelon lemonade i would repurchase that scent but maybe in a couple of years the next thing i used up was raspberry tangerine this is a sweet tart candy scent this is wild raspberries fresh tangerine and lemon zest so this was my progress in june and then this is my progress in july this was a super tart candy scent but i really like it super fruity i actually like this a lot more than watermelon lemonade which surprised me and then this one was from 2020 i think uh, actually i'm not sure i'm not sure when this was from but here it is super yummy would definitely repurchase that scent again another scent i would love to have again is the black chamomile aromatherapy please let me know if this is out right now i think i got this at the outlet because it's got all the different languages on it but this scent is so good whenever i took like a nighttime bath this was amazing absolutely amazing and i want it back so bad this is the foam bath the foam baths are phenomenal from bath and body works i will literally put like the tiniest amount and i get so many bubbles so i love the aromatherapy foam baths and body washes i do use these just as foam baths I don't use them as body washes, but you could if you wanted to. A big thumbs up from me. I used up only two pocket bags, but two that I have in my room are literally almost empty. Like maybe two uses each, but I didn't finish them up, so they're not included in this. I finished up a cactus blossom as well as a passion fruit and banana flower. Um, these both took me two months, pretty much the same progress each month, but... Here they are. Both were good. They're just pocket bags. I'm not over the moon about either of these. I mean, passion fruit and banana flower always come back. Comes back and cactus blossom is out again, I think. So yeah, they were good enough. I would repurchase them if they came back in pocket bag form and they were 75% off. One last body care item. We have a sunshine mimosa moisturizing body wash. This is bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. I hate this right now. I don't know why. I loved it. I absolutely loved it in the fine fragrance mist, but like something about the moisturizing body wash smells so off to me and it's kind of repulsive. It gives me like the same feeling of when I smell strawberry pound cake on me. I just don't like it at all. So I don't think I would repurchase Sunshine and Mimosa and I might have to declutter it out of my collection, unfortunately. Maybe in the EDP that I have here, it would be a little bit better, but in this moisturizing body wash, woo, would not repurchase it, but it's empty. I have a couple things before candles. I have three car fragrances. We have Mahogany Teakwood, which is a masculine scent. Doesn't smell like anything, but my boyfriend used this up in his work truck. No complaints, so I'm sure he would repurchase that scent again. And then I also have Raspberry Tangerine in the car fragrance. Same notes as earlier, but this was super strong in my car. I do use two scent portables at the same time. I have one on my visor and one on my vent just to make it a little bit stronger in my car. And these are really great. This is a great scent and I would repurchase it for 75% off. I think these are kind of a scam. Honestly, like the price is a scam. And if you're paying like, what are, what are these like five bucks now or something? Maybe even more than that. No, they, they think they're more than $5 now. Or are they $4.95? I don't know. They're so pricey, only at 75% off or like $1.95 sale. Please don't pay more than $1.90 or $1.50. But these are really good, the scent specifically, and I would definitely repurchase it again for 75% off. I only have one wallflower, even though my other, my two wallflowers that are plugged in, one in this room and then one in my bathroom, are so close to being empty. Um, but this was Tiki Beach. Honestly, I don't remember if this was strong or not. 
This is warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. I don't remember if this was strong, honestly. Mm. If I don't remember if it was strong, I probably wouldn't repurchase the scent again. Maybe I said it was strong, but I'm going to be honest. This I took this out of this room probably the first week in July is when I emptied this. So I really don't remember, unfortunately. So I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you think this one is strong. I cannot remember. And then I went ham on candles this month, you guys. Absolutely ham. I used up six candles that is crazy granted five of them are single wicks but six candles nonetheless the first one i used up is a rose water and ivy it looks funky because i had to warm this this is rose petals and ivy and musk it was fine it's one of these mini candles super strong for a mini candle i wish i could have burned it longer but the wick started to drift and it made me nervous so I decided just to warm it, but I probably would purchase rose water and ivy in a three wick if it comes out or if it's out in a three wick. I used up pink, pink apple punch. This was so good. I don't have the scent notes, but this was how much I used this month. So it took me about two months and I burn my candles until the wick does not light anymore. One of the cleanest burning candles I've had in a long time. This smells like candy. It smells like candy. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't. I think I said absolutely like apple. Wow. We have been filming for almost 30 minutes now. So I'm getting a little loopy and tripping over my words. But this was so good. Super, super strong for a single wick. If you don't know, I either burn my candles in my small bathroom or my medium-sized bedroom. So this was a high, high thrower. Would 100% recommend this scent. Next, we have Berry Spritzer. This one has notes of frozen juniper berries, fresh cranberries, cool peppermint, and black currant. I literally burned this once before the wicks fizzled out. Um, sometimes that happens, and that's okay. Uh, I would say this is a medium on the dirtiness and a medium plus thrower. I have the wrong lid on here, so right now all I'm getting is banana bunt cake because this is the banana bunt cake lid, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't know if I repurchase it again because I thought like the notes of like the cranberry and mint were a little strange to me. But I don't know if it's because it wasn't good and I didn't like it or if I was just sick of it. So it could be because I was sick of it. But for now, I'll pass and I don't have any more of this. So I just won't repurchase that again. The next one I used up. I started burning it and then I had to warm it because of the wick drifting and I didn't want it to explode on me but this is grapefruit and sage this was really good under the warmer I don't know how it would be burning but under the warmer it was really really good and this was just an aromatherapy candle and I used half of it this month then we have a raspberry mimosa this is another candle that was pretty much empty uh when I started this month and I just had like one or two burns this one was good yeah, this one was very good. Again, another tart candy scent. I used a lot of like candy type scents this month. This was super, super good. Super good. Just as high of a thrower as the Pink Apple Punch. So I would recommend, definitely would recommend both of these. And then last but not least, another one, meh. This one was so meh to me. This is Champagne Toast and Fresh Orange. I used up from here to there it got super dirty here but that was because my new lighter i have the flame is like insane it is so strong and the flame is just very like large and there's no way for me to turn it down so when i was lighting it it was just absolutely like sitting up this side of the candle this one was meh i think this would be good for a bathroom i really loved the champagne toast and fresh orange like blends combination it was super super yummy but i think i would really like this in body care i think this would be a good option in body care but that was all for my long empties i am so so sorry for being here for almost 30 minutes but those of you who stayed to the end and watched i appreciate you so so much you guys mean the absolute world to me i appreciate all the support you guys give me on my channel and you guys are just awesome and the best but i will throw up my spreadsheet on the screen now so you can see how many products i used up this month i have a good feeling i used up more than i did last month so round of applause i am ready for fall body care and candles though so stay tuned for that video as well as 
my spring or my spring my summer project use it up finale video which will be up next week so that is all for today's long video if you guys enjoyed make sure you give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know what things you emptied in the month of july and if you like seeing my face disney or bath and body works content make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you helps me out so so much and you guys want to change your mind later thanks again you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye